Scrub killer because you like them young? Oh gosh, Scrub killer is old now. First off, <laughs> that was, uh, first off, that comment should never be allowed to be said again. <laughs> Secondly, Scrub killer is like 17 now or something. Isn't he like ancient now? Badmobile, Niseron versus Bryn. Niseron playing in the Batmobile. I've seen Niseron a little bit in, um, in some kind of like, not monthlies, I don't know how to say it. Kind of local, not local either. I can't think of the word. Small, maybe the word small is what I'm looking for. Small tournaments. I see Spider playing in them a lot. I see Niseron going up against a lot of these other uh, North American guys too, late into the night. Late into the night for him, but regular times for everybody else. Um, and he's always done really, really well. So I expect a lot out of him today, especially against maybe a newer, more unknown player in Bryn. But you never know. We've had people prove they belong when we didn't expect it. Spider. You guys all know Spider now. This is a nice double touch setup. But you guys all know Spider now. When Spider first played on our stream, he was just like Bryn. He asked me if he could be, uh, if he could play. In fact, Spider was even lower on the leaderboards than Bryn. Spider had yet to even be in the top 100. Said, can I play? We said, yeah, you know what? Let's let's try you out. Let's let's see how you do against some of the top guys. And now, look at him now. He's one of the best 1v1 players, you know, in our uh, games and has been playing great ever since we let him on stream. So maybe we're having another breakthrough performance here from Bryn. I think there's something... Oh, nice. Double touch setup, but... The miss means an easy counterattack. I think there's something about the way that uh, the way that these guys are grinding and trying to improve and trying to get on these show matches might help. You know, might be a good indication of talent. Does that make sense? So there's lots of other people who are on the leaderboards around where Bren is, but he's out there looking for show matches, looking for opportunities to play in a bigger environment and that is usually very uh, indicative of a player who's going to be improving fast and rising to the challenge. Bryn going to score a second as a nice flick from the corner goes top shelf. Lots of debuts today. The only player not debuting today was Spider. Oh nice, a double touch setup. Usually double touch is are not great ways to score in 1v1, but one of the ways to get them is off the kickoff when that defender has not had a time to grab boost and clear the backboard, and Niseron does it exactly then. In oh god, you've never lost a show match. Yeah, great experience playing in a show match. Yeah, playing in a show match, I mean, I'll always remember what Kinsei said, because Kinsei, a top level player who started on our stream, mentioned how the fact that he had played so many show matches on my stream, nice flick from Nice, is that it really helped him when it came time to play on Johnny Boys, is what I'm trying to say. He mentioned that he had basically already been through the motions and had a chance to kind of shake some nerves and rust off on, you know, another stream. So when it came time to play some maybe even higher uh, competition, he was able to take him down. Yo, Bolt! Bolting Tat! My favorite Tat streamer, by the way. By the way, what, Niseron? Oh, definitely not. Yo, thank you for the follow, guys. Jake Smacks, thanks for everybody who's following from Bolt Stream. Bolting Tat is the best Tat streamer on Twitch. You heard it here first. Um, just in case anybody here is watching who will eventually play on stream, you can always stream the games um, while you play them. There is definitely no restriction on that for a few reasons. One, I, that's just be insane to me. Two, it's probably just good promotion for me anyways. I'd probably ask you to stream them at the same time. Yo, what's on Ladybug? I'm so confused. Did we get two hosts at once or are you just saying Bolting Tat is on Ladybug? Bryn, staying close at the start of this match. Niseron has been able to break open a little bit of a lead sometimes. Sometimes I just read that word from Bolting. Up 6-2. Two. 
the miss flip reset off the post, setting up the easy counterattack. Can you say... Oh god, I, no I can't. I'm gonna say no. It's obviously a trap. I'm too smart to say things that chat wants me to say. Oh, nice fake from Bryn. A third as he tries to creep his way back in. <laughs> What's going on with your guys' chat? It's not a trap, but they, I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. Your chat, what is going on? Nisran off the wall, flip reset. Ooh, nice touch. Kept this so far away from that back wall. The farther you can keep this dribble from that back wall, the harder it is to get a challenge on it. And my goodness, dude, Nisran took about the widest angle from the wall to the far left post that he could have, and Bren did not stand a chance flying and getting in the way. Is there another match after this? Um, we'll have to see. Maybe, maybe, maybe we could fit one more match in, but we do have a stop at uh, some point tonight. We can't go forever. Nisaron, his flick saved away. Hopefully I'm saying his name right. And hopefully I'm saying Bryn's name right as well. Nice! Oh my goodness. What a shot from Bryn. The breezy. A nice breezy setup. Perfect placement. So hard not to send those too high. That's right, Fear. Thank you. How is stream going? Stream is going just great. First ever EU stream. Couldn't be going better. I appreciate you asking. Bryn, a minute to get three goals and bring it back. This flick, very strong, but far too close to the net. As he booms it way above. Bryn trying his best to be patient on the back wall. Just going to get tapped out of the way and an eighth goal for Nice. So... Bryn thinking he's being patient, thinking that he's staying high enough to dodge Nisran. He's intentionally driving farther back up the wall to make sure that he doesn't get in the way of the clearing Nice. But Nice had other plans. He had his eyes set on bumping Bryn. And it will work for an eight. 30 seconds left to go. Oh my god, dude, Bryn's flicks right now. So unfortunate that he's not gonna get to go for that. That was a great 90 degree flick. Using that direct backflip for the flick is not something you see very often, but really gives it that extra pop. Unfortunately, it's not for a goal as uh, it clangs off the post and out. Bryn, full field air dribble. Will he be able to score one more for the road? Looking like he likely won't be. So game number one will go in favor of the potential favorite. Bryn. We'll tack on one more. I only say potential favorite because we know so little about the EU scene, but we're going to work our way into it. Nisaron versus Bren. Game number two, the Batmobile. This one, one of the few guys out there still in maining Batmobile. I'm not sure we've seen somebody play in the Batmobile since Dries in the Fear 500. That might not be an exaggeration. I think the last time we might have seen it is when Dries pulled it out in the Fear 500 to try and beat Kensei. He used it as a secret weapon. Nice shot from Nisaron. True Fear fans will remember that when Dries dropped down 2-1 to one to Kensei, he loaded up the Batmobile and played it for the rest of the match and ended up just barely losing in game five. Nisaron control of the kickoff. Not going to take the air drill off the wall this time. Instead, a bounce dribble setup and a very early pre jump from Bryn will cost him a great read. As soon as Nisaron saw Bryn up in the air, he just instantly gave up on dribbling the ball fast, instead pulling away from it and getting that favorable 50-50. One's doo-doo. Wait, one's doo-doo. I think that might be like a timeoutable offense in this chat.
Brynn gonna give a lot of space. Or Nisran gonna give Brynn a lot of space. But not a great dribble setup. A little bit too strong, but I say that. And Brynn is gonna eventually set up for his first goal. He loses his dribble here and lets it roll over to Nisran. But maybe you could say he planned on Nisran getting that weak backflip touch and not getting the full clear continuation. I don't think Brynn can rely on that for the rest of it. You think it's just I'm doo-doo, but still? All right, we forgive you. You're allowed to be doo-doo at ones. But you're not allowed to say once doo-doo. <laughs> Nisran, air dribble high, double touch. Right off the post, great setup. This high bouncing ball at midfield. Nisaron gonna take it, try intentionally to keep it as high as possible. Wait a second, he didn't even double touch it. Bryn double touched it, and I think if Bryn wasn't there, that ball might have bounced and hit the ground hard enough to go back over the net, AKA not been a goal and been savable. But instead, Bryn will slam in another own goal. I think he's already slammed one in, or maybe that was logic earlier. Bryn's had enough of these high dribbles from Nice as he will challenge early. And can he continue this bump? Oh my goodness, he's bullying Nice. Don't do it to him. Both these guys so low boost. Bryn gets the most noodly of flicks of all, but it doesn't matter if you go give Nice around a couple kisses for the road and let that ball roll in ever so slow. Once again, a very slow dribble play from Bryn in the corner. This time, not going to work. What a save. Can he get back to it? He can. Bryn, a great double save there. The first one, just barely getting it off the crossbar and down, and then a continuation off the back of his net will keep him alive in this game number two, but has yet to work his way into any lead. But a nice mistake for Nice is not a bad way to start. A free open net as Nisaran trying to get something working off the ceiling and definitely didn't go the way he wanted. Bryn looking like he's trying to bump Nisaran out of the way. Very interesting method of defending that lost kickoff, but it's going to work out. It seemed like Nisaran had an open net shot, but wasn't able to find the angle. And honestly, the reason why I froze there for a second is it seemed like Bryn should have had Oh, oh my god, I understand. <laughs> Sometimes I uh, get mixed up on the kickoff. The point is, these guys are playing defense, not offense, and that's why they're not taking the immediate goals that I see. Um, Nisaron, delay on the flip reset. He has gotten Bryn to pull up for challenges very, very early and has earned a lot of goals by just playing it slow and taking the low 50 might be time for Bryn to stop challenging as early as he is and force Nisaran to actually make an outplay close to the net because he might not have it in him the way he's going for these right now. Nice bump from Bryn. He needs to continue this with his 20 boost and he will to tie it back up. Nisaran, nice low 50. Cannot create a shot attempt out of it though as Bryn able to save it away. So a full possession play as Nisaran wants to hold on to the ball while resetting on boost, but not going to be able to. Bryn barreling down on him. Can see the game plan and knows he has an opportunity to try and expose a low boost defender. High bounce, Bryn the fake. Somehow, some way that got Nisaran up in the air but not enough to get it past. These two guys playing a little bit of volleyball, passing the ball back and forth. Bryn will eventually get it past Nice and might be on his way to his first game win on stream if he can keep this lead. Beer, who is better, me or Buzz? You've been following for four months. He followed yesterday. Okay, well, that's obvious. Well, that's obvious. Maybe one day we'll have a... Uh, 
a fear viewer tournament to see who's the best viewer. And we'll have to uh, decide what constitutes viewer versus player because I'm sure there's a, some very good players who also happen to view. Niseron trying to work his way back into game number two. 30 seconds left to go. Brent not wanting to challenge him deep, and these runs half. Instead, he wants to play defense out of his corner, and it's not going to work. A misplay from Brynn with 27 boosts. He had the opportunity to challenge for sure in that situation, but he thought if he went that he would be wasting his 27 boost, maybe lose a 50, and then leave a wide open net. So he tried to jump back into his own half to make a save, and instead he left the net wide, wide open. So. 5-5 with 17 seconds left to go. Nisran doesn't want to play overtime. He wants to score right here, right now, off the ceiling. And he will very easily. What happened here? If we watch from Brin's perspective, trying to come back down to the ground, he can't decide. Oh, that was just a whole mix-up. Brin could not figure out how he wanted the challenge. First driving up the wall, decided he didn't want to do that, came back down. Then thinking he wanted to jump early, deciding, no, maybe not, and just side flipping into absolute no man's land this game not over yet still has an opportunity to score but Nisran will let it hit the ground so a rough rough end of the game for Bryn who had looked so well throughout the majority of that game number two but Nisran will sneak it away right in the last moments Here we go, Niseron versus Brynn. Wait a second. Niseron playing in a Fennec? I'm not sure I've seen Niseron play in anything but a Batmobile. To be fair, I probably haven't watched as much Niseron games as maybe the next guy, but I've watched my fair share, and he's always been in the Batmobile. Brynn, it's hard to know. He's played the first three games in his Fennec. Who knows if he always plays Fennec or not. But Bren, the story of the match right now is a great game number two from Bren. Seemed to be in position to tie up the series and in the last few seconds, throwing it away and now has to work his way all the way from down 0-2 in the match. Such a different position. Had he been able to take that game number two, these guys would be perfectly tied up, a long way to go, and all of a sudden, now Bren has the hardest possible mountain to climb coming back from 0-2. He's looked good though. Neither game has been a blowout as far as I can remember. I think the game one score was within a couple goals. I know that game two was. Bryn, nice defense. Long shot for his second. Nisaran thought he had an opportunity to take a deep power shot from his own half, but slightly offline. He will regain possession. Nice wave dash to initiate this dribble, but then nothing comes of it. Does not react at all to the Bryn challenge. Bryn looking to bump Nice instead gets bumped himself. Has a big boost advantage, but likely it's not going to matter. Just kidding. Maybe Nice not as deadly accurate as he is in his Batmobile. As he is going to miss slightly wide once again. Yet to find a goal in this game number three. Air dribble from the sidewall. Very strong touch off the sidewall. It means it's going to be an easy save. You don't want to get that much separation between yourself and the ball on that dribble setup. Really cuts off lots of your options. Not many plays can be made, but Nisran will eventually score as these guys trading possession a bunch. Nisran able to get that 100 boost at midfield. Aqua, what's going on? Aqua been following for eight months. Was that when we did Aqua's first show match? Was that eight months ago now? Bryn 
his flick strong, but saved away. Brynn does seem to like the flicks as his main mode of attack. He likes those top of card dribbles into flicks more than any other method. At least in this matchup against Nice. Nice quick shot. Good wave dash as he dodged that bump midfield. Oh, maybe not necessarily dodging the bump, but thought he could if Nisaran was coming. But a really quick recovery. Going to beat Nisaran out halfway through the game. Another lead for Brynn, but he needs to hold on to it for the entirety of the match, something he has not been able to do so far. Nisaran's dribble taken out of the air. A very good sign for Brynn, but he will get demoed at midfield, and Nis will find his second. Earlier in this series, those air dribble pops were just destroying Brynn. He could not find a way to play defense against them correctly, and mostly resulting in challenging far too early. But on this last attempt, played it perfectly, challenging at the right time, and taking it away. But just like that, his early lead erased as Nice gets two in a row using a kickoff goal to cap it off. So we are back to tied. We have seen this story before, despite how well Bryn plays in the first few minutes. It is always Niseron with more goals at the end of every game. Niseron set up off the ceiling, too strong. You have to try and take it to the ground. Turn it into a wave dash play, but it'll be easily saved. Bryn finding no opportunities as this ball clears down the field on the side wall, able to stop Nisaran's attack. They're both going to try and meet at midfield. No, Nisaran, no, he was beat, so he's going to stay grounded, and the double touch for Bryn is ultra wide. Trying to play it as fast as he can. So used to Nisaran playing so great on defense, and Bryn has to stay grounded in order to not get his brains demoed out of him. But loses sight of the ball here, and that was all Nisaran needed. Four three with a minute left to go. Bryn trying to stay aggressive despite losing on the kickoff. Twenty three boost in a dream deep in Nisaran's half. The Nisaran making a little bit of a mistake, keeping the opportunity open for Bryn. A nice tap to midfield, and this should be a finish. Bryn. Dangerous but confident play off the kickoff. Refusing to leave Nisaran's half, forcing Nisaran to play perfect, and he did not. As he leaves open an opportunity for Bryn. Ooh, a poor kickoff for Nice. You could see watching that from Bryn's perspective. Nice just making a bit of a mistake at the end there, landing his car pointed away from the ball. That will cost him a goal with 42 seconds left. A much better kickoff to follow. But will it be enough? Can Bryn hold on to his late game lead? A nice late 50. The ball bouncing back out into a dangerous spot, but Bryn playing it as safe as possible. Not even going to take a shot. Just wants to keep possession as long as he's got possession. He feels like he's in control of the match. A play from the ceiling, and Nice can't save it. Did he get a little bit caught on the bottom corner of the net here? Because this is normally a shot a player like Nice is saving, yet he couldn't decide whether or not he wanted to save it off the wall and ended up flying from the low wall, which is a tough place to make a save. And Bryn... It's not over yet, 20 seconds left to go, but seems like he might have done what he couldn't do before. Held onto his lead. A very soft touch for a save. It's a heads up play because it lets him get the follow up touch instead of handing it right back over to Nice. So there it is, Bryn. Not gonna get swept here today. At least winning this game number three. And we'll see how many more for the rest of the match. Bren versus Niseron, game number four. Bren, refusing to go down, was able to beat Fennec Niseron, but Batmobile Niseron is back. He's had enough of messing with the Fennec and a nice flick 
for his first as he will take control off kickoff low boost but a dream as Bryn with two full pads can't make the save Nisa on dribble up the side wall but a very early read and play by Nice. A great play off the ceiling. We've been seeing so many defenders play defense off the ceiling in those air dribble situations, especially the ones immediately off of kickoff. And it's just something I feel like fear a year ago or maybe two years ago never could have dreamed was a viable way to play ones. Can you imagine that the way you're supposed to play ones is if you get the kickoff, you're supposed to take it up for an air dribble all the way to the ceiling, and if you're a defender, you're supposed to drive up on top of your ceiling and play defense from there. I would have said no, that, that's that's not how ones work. But we've seen it all the time now as a great way to defend against these lethal air dribble flip reset situations. You gotta cut them off as early as possible. And Nusaran does exactly that. These guys trade some kickoff goals. Early into this match, very high scoring in the first 30 seconds. A nice flick from Niseron, but the follow-up flick not fast enough to get it past Bryn. Bryn going to try and shoot quick, and he will for a second. So a good challenge. As Niseron was able to score earlier in this game with that same exact flick. This time, not finding the power or speed needed, and Bryn will be rewarded. These guys going fast in this game. On pace for 25 goals to be scored. But surely it will slow down a little bit. Or maybe not. Bryn, a nice touch from the corner. Neither of these guys wanting to give up on the ball. Nisaron looking like he was thinking of a way to set up a dribble, but instead pops it up and finds himself in no man's land on the back wall. Bryn will take advantage. Can Bryn find the angle on this kickoff? Yes, he can, because as soon as I heard Niseron's flip, I could tell he was too far away to make a play. But before I heard the flip, I didn't know. Oh, yeah, that's why. That's why he went to go get boost. I was, I was wondering why Niseron wasn't closer than that, because it felt like he should have been. But if Bryn plays with sound, then he heard the same thing I did, which was that Niseron's flip was way too far away to make a save. Nice quick play. Bryn, a 5-3 lead. Bryn taking the detour back into his corner boost. Usually a mistake to go all the way back into your corner and fly back to midfield. And Niseron knows that that's usually a mistake. That's why he's not playing quickly. He figures there's no way Bryn is crazy enough to dive back into his corner and come all the way back. Because surely Niseron could just pop it over him, right? And that is the mind games, the meta of 1v1. When you start doing the thing that's dumb and it becomes smart. Isn't Rocket League fun? Niseron, power shot from midfield, saved high. Bryn has been able to hold on to a lot of boost, but cannot continue his dribble as Nice backflip will send this high to the wall. And once again, another perfect 50 will pinch it high. This time, Niseron does not want to come up for it. Space for Bryn, early flip, pre-flip from Nice to close the distance on that ball. Bryn almost able to get a Doomsie. But Niseron, a very fast recovery. Now he's got a bounce dribble at midfield. These guys just keep meeting each other earlier and earlier. Neither one of them wanting to be on the wrong end of a high dribble. So challenging before it ever gets started. And this time Niseron will lob it to the moon with that Batmobile. My goodness. Batmobiles feel like they can really boom the ball straight in the air. And that flick, lots of power, but Nisaron's still down one. Trying to work his way back. Bryn, what a save, holy cow. That was crossbar down. That was perfectly placed from Nisaron. And Bryn found a way to keep it out. Not the best 50 though. A nice recovery. Niseron unable to find the best touches to get that ball in net 
before Bryn made it back. Oh my goodness, Nisran had used up every last bit of his boost. He was in such a tough situation, really trying to milk for this goal. And if Bryn gets the clear off the back wall, I think Nisran is actually getting scored on the other way because he has went all in, has zero boost. Bryn is in the position to get a fairly powerful clear across the net, which means he'd be on a roll with the boost advantage. Usually for the defender with low boost, they have a hard time getting back, but Nisaran's risk gonna pay off. Bryn misses on the back wall, and now we're all tied up. Minute 38 left to go, power shot. Saved high. Nice demo from Bryn. An easy sixth on a great play. We're gonna tab in and out here, see if we can save some of our own frames. That was a great snipe by Bryn. Seeing that Nisaran was likely going to try and roll up, take a dribble high off the back wall. There's really no good angle for Bryn to make a play. There's, there's no situation in which he can get a dim, doomsy dish from that roll. So might as well just try and take the defender out of the play. 6-5, Bryn once again a lead as we come to the late parts of this game. Make it a two-goal lead with a minute left to go. Bryn needing to hold on, forcing a game number five in our first ever all EU show match day. How exciting is that? The debuting players have been playing great today. Bryn still technically playing from behind, but lucky able to have a great debut on his end. Great dribble from Bryn. Keeping this ball so high in the air. Such a slow dribble and sometimes that is the way to score these goals. The slower you make it, the more you're giving it additional taps of uh, you know vertical space as you move towards the net, the more likely that defender is gonna make a mistake. So lots and lots of touches on that air dribble is ultimately what I'm trying to say for Brynn, and that's why he's able to find it. Nisaran cannot get a couple tight angle touches for his fit. Brynn in the air again, feeling good in the air. Flip reset. Takes it low. I think he might not have had it because he didn't use it to wave dash, which I would have expected had he had the flip, but a nice shot on a continuation. 9-5. Bryn not only hold on, holding on to his lead late in this game number four, but extending it all the way to four. Nisaran's Batmobile can't save him now. It's too late. He started the downward trend with the Fennec. What car will we see for game five? I'm assuming we'll see the Batmobile, but I also thought Batmobile was the only car he played. 10 seconds left to go. That is it. Bryn will be winning. Game number four, nice flip reset from Nice. He will get a six to make it 6-9. He wants to chat to throw six nines in the chat as much as possible. He usually plays Octane or Fennec, not Batmobile. Are you serious? I've always seen Nisaran play Batmobile, but to be fair, like I said, I don't watch him play um, as much as probably other people do. I've seen him play in a few tournaments and it's always been in Batmobile. Bryn, a demo for the road. Will he try and give us a clip on the way out of this game number four? Nice use of the flip to get back to the ball. Did he get two flip resets in there? It almost looked like he got two because uh, Nice pushed the ball back into him, but Bryn! He is going to force a game number five. Bryn versus Nisaran. Game five, Nisaran winning games one and two. Bryn coming back in games three and four, showing that he belongs here today in the first ever all EU. VRL day. Certainly the least known out of the four players to play today, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything as Bryn showing right now. High, high arcing ball. Bryn didn't want to have anything to do with it. Instead, Waiting, letting Nisaran touch the ball. 
over to his possession, and Bryn, in an attempt to maintain possession here, is using up every last bit of boost he has, but nice recovery. It does seem like he will continue a dribble. This low 50 setup. Not going to work, though. That dribble getting a little bit out of his control. What a shot. Oh, my goodness. Knees are on. Vinci tells us he's not always playing the Batmobile, but I don't know why not. He is so nasty with the Batmobile flicks. Oh, my goodness. This might have actually been another situation where he shot it a little bit too high, but there's been multiple times when Nisaran misses ever so slightly high and Bryn has been own goaling it with his attempted save. Bryn, tap off the wall. Handing over possession to Nice, trying his best to turn something out of it, but not going to work. I mean, Nice has been doing this to him all series long. I think this was happening earlier with Logic as well, and both these guys are playing Orange Phoenix, so I might be uh, melding them together a little bit, but a little bit of overaggression will lead to the Nice on second goal. Knees off the side wall, playing this air dribble really, really fast. Great shot. Once again, man, he is just crushing the top crossbar. There is nothing he loves more than that crossbar. But unless Bryn helps him touch it in, the crossbar is never going to be a goal. Knees are on yet another air dribble. This time dropping it low, and why not? Bryn has been playing good defense in the air. So he will take it under him. Batmobile mains always OP. Well, Ryzen, I would think that Nisaran is a Batmobile main. I would have said he was, but our intel in chat tells us he's actually not a Batmobile main. Maybe he's a 1v1 Batmobile main. Is that possible? A lot of players like to play a different car for their 1v1s. Back when I used to play Dominus, I'd still always play my 1v1s in the Octane. Brin shot from midfield, an easy save, but a goal was never the intent. Just trying to buy himself some time to steal some boost and maybe initiate a boost starvation play on Nice, but trying to milk that air dribble, not able to turn it into anything, so Nice back the other way, but not the best attempt from Nice as these guys search for a good opportunity. Brin off the side wall, and Nice faking a challenge high, but not going for it. Instead, back down to the ground. Bryn will give a very easy save for Nice. T ended up for him as he tried to bounce it above, but instead just helped Nisran launch the counterattack. Big kickoff from Nice. This might be the first time we've seen any mix-up on the kickoff from either one of these guys. And it will come here in game number five. Nisran, nice read. Bryn not making his play fast enough as he tried to throw in it looked like a little bit of a fake and then tap it over. Nisaran too quick, just on point right now with all his plays, all his challenges, making it look like this match was never in question. But, of course, because I was saying that, or because I was thinking that in my brain, Bren instantly brings it back. I cast or curse Nisaran. And... An exact same mirrored goal the other way. Two minutes left to go. Nisran, one goal off of a Brazil. So tough to come back from Brazils. I wonder if we've ever had a game that has made it to a Brazil that the person who was Brazil makes it all the way back and ties it up. That being said, Bryn, not Brazil just yet. So opportunity still there. Nice, a nice setup dribble. Oh my goodness, a bunch of great touches and then bumping Bryn out of the way. This was one of the better air dribbles of this series. Using that flip and those spins on the ball so perfectly to float it right to the top shelf and pulling away from the ball, taking out the defender. Just a beautiful play. Beautiful play by Nisran. Crazy double touch off the back wall. Might cost them a goal here at will. But why not try to get a clip in the last minute 12? 
if Niseron feeling confident. Hollet, you back, you had to restart your PC again. Well, welcome to game five in a great matchup between two great players. Looking like we might not see Bryn holding it down for the debuters, but I guess to be fair, Niseron is also a debuter. It doesn't quite feel like it because I've seen him play uh, in so many tournaments that Spider also plays in. But technically also debuting, so either one of these guys winning is a debuting player winning. Nisaron killing the ball. Might as well waste a few more seconds after a good outplay on the sidewall. It is looking grim for Bryn, but not impossible. XX Diggs, thank you for the follow. Nisaron wave dash into the corner. It's certainly over now, six goals to go. We would need a goal every five seconds, which is really tough to do, even if you were already in a kick-up situation, which Bryn is not. So Niseron gonna win his first match in a debut against Bryn, but I have a feeling that if we do some more EU games, we're gonna see more from both of these guys because Bryn played very, very well. Wasn't able to take the edge in the final match, but nothing to scoff at. Niseron, a very high-level player and Bryn putting up a very good fight. But it will go to Nisaron here in game number five as the EU Fear Day comes to a close.